Witnesses began taking the stand today in the murder trial of Granville Ritchie. He's accused of sexually assaulting and then murdering nine-year-old Felicia Williams in May of 2014. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. News reporter Eric Glasser was in the courtroom today as prosecutors started laying out their case. It'll be crystal clear. In their opening statement, prosecutors told the jury they would prove not just beyond a reasonable doubt, but beyond any doubt that Granville Ritchie sexually assaulted and murdered nine-year-old Felicia Williams. He strangled her until he had choked the life out of this little girl. Prosecutors admit there's no DNA, no eyewitness testimony tying Richie to Williams' murder. But the circumstantial case, they argue, is overwhelming. The girl disappeared after Felicia was left alone at Richie's Temple Terrace apartment. Cell phone records show Richie in the area off the Courtney Campbell Causeway where Williams' body was found. Leaves and sand found in the car Richie was driving were also a match. Felicia Williams' life meant less to this man than his sexual desires to violate her. In a surprise to many in the courtroom, Richie's defense lawyers made no opening statement, a strategy perhaps to suggest to jurors that prosecutors have the wrong guy and that Richie has no obligation to defend himself. She was a very amazing, beautiful little girl. Testimony began with Felicia's mother taking the stand. She'd allowed her daughter to spend the day with a family acquaintance, but says she never gave her permission to leave Felicia alone with Granville Ritchie and recalled the heart-wrenching news that the little girl had disappeared. I say, well, what do you mean about Felicia's missing? And she was like, I don't know, she's missing. Prosecutors also called one of Felicia's five sisters to the stand who recalled watching the little girl leave their home in the same type of car prosecutors say Granville Ritchie was driving. Do you remember what kind of car it was? A Lexus. Do you remember what color it was? Silver. The first day of testimony wrapped up a bit early as Judge Michelle Sisko said she had some personal business to attend to. Testimony resumes again Monday morning at 9.15. Prosecutors say they plan to lay out their case chronologically, starting with the search for Felicia and eventually the discovery of her body along the Courtney Campbell Causeway. We're going to continue to follow this trial. We will let you know what happened.